Welcome back. In partnership with the Registry of Political Parties in PNG, UN Development Programme held a session on gender mainstreaming strategies for political parties. The session aims to support political parties in creating equal opportunities for the participation of women, as well as advise on effective gender equality mechanisms in the run-up to the 2017 national general elections. Kevin Dayonga reports. In 2016, the Pacific Island countries as a region still have the lowest number of female parliamentarians in the world. Papua New Guinea currently has three women MPs, Kiribati with two, Tonga, Solomon Islands, Tuvalu and Nauru, each of one, and the Federated States of Micronesia and Vanuatu currently have no women in parliament. To address the issue and enhance women's political participation, UNDP has led a session focused on gender mainstreaming strategies. It aimed to help the parties to open up to women and to see why it is important to support women in the elections or more generally to empower women just as the men. Registrar of Political Parties Dr. Alphonse Gelu said the registry will work with the parties to ensure that this area is addressed and this will form part of the long-term work for the registry. He added that political parties are better placed to promote the political empowerment of women as members, party executives and as candidates. He also added that political parties have plans in place but have not implemented these plans to empower women. Meantime, UN Resident Coordinator and the UNDP Resident Representative Roy Trivedi said that equitable participation of women in politics is essential to sustaining democracy and development. The UN said they are committed to supporting women's empowerment and providing women with the necessary tools to fully participate in all aspects of the political process. Kevin Dayonga, NBC National News, Port Mosby.